Workers at Scorpius Space Launch Company make a carbon fiber panel for a fuel tank. Something like the tank that will take the Nova Sea IM-1 lander to the moon's surface as early as June of this year. The small Torrance, California-based company is keeping down costs for a scientific venture that will run experiments on the moon, providing a tough, lightweight fuel tank that resists extremely low temperatures. It uses liquid methane and liquid oxygen to create the propulsion, as opposed to some of the very highly toxic uh, liquids that were used traditionally. The Nova Sea Lander is designed by a Texas company called Intuitive Machines, and the data it collects will support the International Artemis program led by the U.S. Space Agency, NASA, that will return humans to the moon as early as 2025, for the first time since 1972. Near the south pole of the moon, the lander will conduct experiments that will help future human crews extract resources from the lunar soil, for example. Engineers and technicians at Scorpius rely on ingenuity, not big research budgets. Because we are small and nimble, we were able to produce the tanks that they needed in the time frame and the cost required. For small companies, such missions are a challenge. Going to space, of course, is a very difficult uh, endeavor and uh, naturally kind of favors large organizations and companies that have the means to mitigate risks, have access to all the technologies, to all the labs, to all the testing. So for a small team like us, that's uh, rather unusual. James Wirtz is the president of Microcosm, Scorpius parent company. He's also an author and adjunct professor at the University of Southern California. He tells students... There's a big universe out there and there's a chance to explore and you are the very first people that are going to have a chance to explore it. There will be excitement here when the mission gets off the ground and lands, says Roofer. We are very proud that we made it to this point and obviously we're on pins and needles to see you know, when this rocket takes off. There'll be a lot of jumping up and down for sure. <laughs> As humans enter a new age of exploration and nations and private companies make plans to cooperate and compete in space. Mike O'Sullivan, VOA News, Los Angeles.